Okay, up at the summit, uh, Holly Mountain Mau continues to grow larger as uh, more of the crater floor, adjacent crater floor, uh, slumps inward. And this is all related to magma that's withdrawing from beneath Holly Mountain Mau and going into the volcano, into the East Rift Zone, most likely. Um, it's really hard to get a sense of the scale of what's occurring up there. Uh, we have some instruments on the crater floor up there that uh, show during these uh, ex collapse explosion events uh, that uh, these instruments are dropping uh, one and a half, almost two meters, so up to six feet in one, one drop. And then also they're moving uh, toward the center of Hale Maumau. Uh, I showed you this figure a little while ago. It's a plot of uh, the collapse volume of earlier collapses on the left-hand scale and time. Uh, here we are, 2018, uh, early in the eruption. Now we're, we were there last week. Uh, the area has lost even more volume. These numbers kind of change a little bit, uh, so it's not actually doubled in just a week. Um, the way we do those calculations and so on, we continue to refine them, and so this is just a, a larger number. It's, it's um, almost 400 million cubic meters of volume has been lost at the summit, and that's about uh, 13 million cubic meters a day. So we're still losing more and more material as the magma withdraws down deep. Uh, as a consequence of the faulting and the slumping, there are lots of earthquakes. This is a map showing you the earthquakes just in the past seven days. The number up there is about 4,400 earthquakes. If we just look at the magnitude three and above earthquakes, there have been about 290. And the uh, larger circles here are the sort of earthquake location associated with the collapse explosion event. Those are the magnitude 5.3, 5.2 events. So in the past week, these have occurred about uh, once, a, once a day. This is a plot, a week-long plot, showing you the hourly earthquake counts. And you can see that uh, the counts vary. And the quiet time in here is, happens just after one of these collapse explosion events. So after the ground just drops, the volcano kind of takes a little bit of a breather, but the magma is still withdrawing. So as it continues to withdraw, it loses support of the material that just dropped. And so then things start to drop a little bit at a time. You start getting more and more earthquakes. It builds up uh, to a plateau here and continues for a while, 12 hours or, or so or more, and then the thing drops again. So what does it look like when one of these events occur? Early on, we talked about ash plumes forming, and uh, some of the earlier ash plumes went up to 20,000 feet, perhaps a little bit higher. Uh, so this is a, a view of the crater area yesterday afternoon, mid-afternoon. Not much of a plume coming out of Haleamaumau, which is located right here. And then this is what one of those collapse explosion events is now producing that you can see visibly. It's not, not very much. It's a white plume uh, rising here from this part of the crater. There's, you see it's a little colored, so there's a little bit of ash. Uh, primarily from rock falls. There's also a little extra volcanic gas, sulfur dioxide gas uh, mixed in with that. So because we've had several of these events producing very little ash and very little uh, height gained in these plumes, uh, this past week we lowered the aviation color code, the sort of threat code, from red to orange, which is where it's been for, for the last 10 years or so. So at this point, uh, we're waiting for another uh, seismic event to occur. It can occur any minute. Uh, the last one occurred yesterday about uh, 507, so just 24 hours ago. So the next one is going to happen anytime. Thank you.